The sheriff pushing back against the school district's plan to create its own police force. Action News Jax told you last month when the school board voted in favor of establishing its own department instead of having school resource officers from the sheriff's office. Action News Jax, Beth Rousseau is live now from Clay County. Beth, the sheriff wants to use taxpayer money to keep those deputies in schools. And so this is the sheriff's new plan. Under it, the school district would no longer be on the hook for 100% of the cost of SROs. Instead, they would cover 70% of the cost, and the other 30% would be covered by the Board of County Commissioners. Secure school campuses are a top concern for Stephanie Schwake and other Clay County families. I have a 14 year old brother who goes to Middleburg High and I do worry about him a lot. Action News Jax told you in February when the school board voted to create its own police department, which board members say is more cost effective than having a school resource office from the sheriff's office on every campus. Now Sheriff Daryl Daniels is proposing the district only pay SROs for the time they're working at schools and the county commission absorbed the rest of the cost. They're only getting 70% a year in services from the SROs. It would be unfair to tax them with or strap them with paying for 12 months. Board Chairwoman Carol Studdard says the numbers are still too high and she has other issues with the plan. Those are taxpayers dollars and the, the taxpayers are already paying their taxes on the millage for safety. The school board is aiming to have their department up and running by September. Schwake tells me that's too fast. I don't know what goes on there. I can't get on campus to protect him, and I want to know that he's safe. We're told that the majority of the Board of County Commissioners would have to approve of this plan. Meanwhile, Studdard says that the school district has already sent their plan for their police department for FDLE for approval. We're live in Clay County this evening. Beth Russo, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.